Morning. Saturday. It's half seven. Just getting ready to go detecting. I've got a new toy today. Does a bit of this, does a bit of that. So, yeah, you're gonna have to bear with me today as I don't know what I'm doing with it. English mustard. Can't beat a bit of English mustard on your own cobs. Not that I've made them yet. I just thought I'd uh, show you that thing. breakfast cob from the best uh, place in town I have not opened it yet just sat in my car very cold today probably freezing at best I've got uh, multiple layers on um, I'm gonna go somewhere I've not been in the videos yet so hopefully we'll be able to find something cool today but I probably won't morning so I am in Matlock today, just had my breakfast cob. These are the fields I'm going to be detecting on today with my new toy, which is already annoying me. Um, it's called a gimbal. It's meant to keep the camera steady. No uh, shaky videos or anything like that, but it's a real pain in the neck. It takes me about two minutes to set it up every time I take a video, so I don't know if it's going to be uh, doable for this kind of thing, but anyway, I'm just about to start, so I'll see you soon. So this is my first coin of the day. I kind of know what I'm going to find on here. A couple of mystery coins, a bunch of Victoria coins, and just modern stuff. And there's our first coin luck, big old penny. You've got to bear with me with this new thing. Oh, it's a half penny, look. Yep, George the Fifth, probably. Another coin. This one fell out, so I've seen it just there. Big penny, definitely. It's like an Edward the Seventh. You get a lot of them on here. A lot of Edwards. I have to keep getting the instruction book out because uh, I can't seem to turn it off. Put it back in my bag, it starts going crazy, spinning around in all sorts. Um, uh, another coin, I think. I reckon this is going to be a farthing. Where is it? I oh, can just see the edge of a coin in there, look. It. I must. Oh, there we go. Looks like a Victoria farthing. Is that? I'm really not enjoying this gimbal, by the way, at all. It's taking me five minutes every time I get a, something to video. My feet start getting cold. Another coin. This was in a hole with a big chunk of iron. It looks like a half penny again. And a, is it Victoria again? Nope, it's George. George the Fifth. Lovely day today. Look at that blue sky. And this looks like another coin. Just a horrible half penny. Where's it gone? There it is. 
I'm gonna find loads of these today, so I'm gonna try and make this short. <laughs> Another coin. That dog does not like me. Another half penny. You can find loads of stuff like this on here. Oh yes. Farmer's wife double Devon cream. Now that is my kind of find. Do enjoy a bit of cream. This was a 91. I thought it was going to be 1p, but it's not. This will be getting donated to Martin Wood. I see love three pence pieces. Coin in this small clod. And yet again, it is a half penny. Just found the last dog tag. So I've left it on this post, right on the footpath. So you never know. You might be back and see that and think, oh, that's off my dog. I think I've hit this one with a spade. Can you see it? Yeah, definitely are. Yes, another half penny. And this one looks like uh, George the Fifth. Well, there was another signal in the hole. You can quite clearly see it's another half penny. Very peaceful. Listen to the birds. And I have another coin right on the path. Looks like a big penny. That's what it is. I touched it with a spade again. Yep. Slightly excited by this one. This is the view from the spot where I'm stood. It's a very strong signal, so 91. I aimed it up, then I heard uh, a noise like a bag of coins hitting something. Uh, and I've seen what looks like to be a leather wallet in there, or purse, pouch, and it is very heavy. Oh, I'm telling you, I think there's big silver coins in there. Could be wrong, but I can see the milled edge of at least two or three coins. This is going to be pretty, pretty cool. I'm almost shaking actually. Right, I've taken my phone off the gimbal and I'm going to open this bad boy. I reckon there's a half crown in there, at least one, maybe two. One half crown. 1923. I'll need a good soaking lemon. And we've got a silver two shilling. Oh man, it's not even silver. It's 1949. A penny. And this looks to be a shilling. <laughs> That's not silver either. 1948, one year off. That is pretty cool though. Really cool. Enjoy that. All this. Yeah, that uh, that leather wallet, that was absolutely awesome. I was convinced there was going to be uh, more than one silver coin in it, but uh, there wasn't. It was just the one. But still, 
yeah, very enjoyable. These views, can't get used to the up down on this. You just hear the bells. Where else would you rather be? Nowhere. I could never figure out how to stop it recording. Machine's going a bit crackers up here. Never been this far up. Not what I've seen. Definitely some sort of animal. <laughs> They're staring at me. I don't know what it is. Maybe a goat or a sheep. Anyway. This is where I've got to now. Right on top of the hill. Bells are going again. This was deep. And this is a silver coin. And it's got to be old. It came from right down there. And I've got a horrid feeling that I've touched it with my spade. You can already tell that it's old by the colour. It's got that dark grey patina. It's going to be a shilling, look. Queen Victoria, probably. Yep. That is a very, very nice coin. Probably mid-1800s. What have we got? 1850 something. That is absolutely beautiful. Should clean up nice. Tell you what, I'm on a great day. Apart from uh, just touching that with my spade. There's an aeroplane. Keeps flying around in circles over me. Well, probably not me, but uh, tell you what, I've had another silver coin here. Not far from the other silver coin I just had. The only coins I've had off this top bit. The machines are going, are going crazy around here because of the. Uh, electric cables but uh, it's really picking out the uh, the signals I think this is a sixpence George V probably you can see it from that side it doesn't look like a silver coin because it's completely grey but that's been heavily oxidised I think so you spin it over it and look 100% silver That'll come out like new. I'll have to put it in uh, lemon juice overnight. Yeah, well, that's three silver coins now. On it. Another coin just up. It's looking like a Queen Victoria half penny. I have given it a little clean with my fingers. Nice and smooth. Pick that out amongst a lot of junk. There is a lot of junk up here. This is what I'm having to deal with. The electricity pylons sending my machine crazy. But this looks like silver number four. Down there, look. It's going to be a modern ish sixpence. Probably one of those 1940s ones. Definitely a silver coin, what well, Jesus that needs to go in some lemon juice. Yeah, it's an acorn one, 1933. Four silver coins for today. Killing it. Not even lunchtime yet. Windy. Another coin, I think half penny. Aeroplane somewhere. Can't see it on the screen. Jesus, I can barely see it in real life. You can hear it though. Anyway, yes, another coin. I need to start working way back down so I can get me lunch. This is a, another half penny, chip half penny. 
Job the gun. Another coin. So it's like a big old penny. Look at that, it's bent, almost bent in half. How's that happened up here? Let's get that windy now. This one was a bit deeper. I think it's gonna be a mystery coin. Big George the third, something or other. Is it George the third penny? Pretty chunky. Yeah, I think it is, look. Cool. I knew we'd find something like that sooner or later. Mm, this is a button this time. Looks the same like I found last week. It's got like a griffin on it or some sort of giant bird, I don't know. Yep. Well, I'll just go back to the car. He's absolutely boiling out in here. I'm going to have to open the windows a little bit. Yeah, I couldn't take my lunch with me today because I've got this thing here in my bag and I need it, I need it to be accessible. Yeah, so I left my food and that in here. Got me mustard cobs. Knickknacks. I'll beat them. And of course, my man, Mr. Kipling back in town so yeah I'm gonna sit here for half hour oh, I've got a flask of coffee and all charge me phone up and uh, yeah just chill out the way up yeah so uh, we'll carry on in a bit I should just say I put way too much uh, mustard on these cops <laughs> it's all gone up the back of my nose that is a very funny sensation yeah probably should go a bit to a bit easy on mustard next time it's literally burning all my insides. Really good though. There's my XP Elite uh, Gold Club hat. I shall be uh, sporting that in a minute. Uh, pardon my rolled up legs. They were covered in mud. Uh, look at this. Mr. Kipling. Exceedingly good cakes. Four chocolate caramel and pecan slices. I am all over this. Look at that bad boy. Mm. That's no bad. No bad at all. A bit dry. That'll do a job though, won't it? Great, I'm heading back up there now. Just having a little breather. Walking back up to where I was earlier. It's really tiring and really steep. Very out of breath, very unfit. So nice though now. The sun's over there. Come on, Gimbal, catch up. Yep. Let's get back on it, need to get up there. Two signals, one there, and one there. Very similar. One was this was a ninety one, I think, and uh, it's a big old penny. I'm going to try and hurry up now because otherwise this video is going to be hours long. That was a threatening bit. Look, job done. Oh, it's an Edward penny. Look, keen.
Queen Victoria, Vale Head, half penny. Not bad. Really is one of those days, coins galore. This is another, oh, you dirty swine. Back on the uh, electrical pylon patch, looking for one more silver and I had this up. I've given it a bit of a clean. It's completely smooth, but uh, I reckon that's probably a William III half penny. So you're looking at 1690s thereabouts. Cool. One of these days, I will find a gold ring made of pure gold. And when I do, I will scream like I've never screamed before. So, a little copper ring for a kid, probably. Definitely not gold. Wind's picking up, making my way back to the car now, straight back onto the coins, big penny, George the Fifth, how many coins have I had today now, it's getting silly, it's really getting silly. What is that? Some sort of pendant. Who knows? This is interesting. Two coins in one hole. First came out. Big old penny. Which is George V, so 1930s. And then underneath that, there was this. Which, to me, It's a George the Third, which would be about 18 something, but I don't know, I'll just have to look into that. It's, it's odd. That's me done for today. Just roamed into this, uh, this little bit of woodland. You never know what's going to be in the woods. Uh, it's a little bit creepy, so. Uh, oh, what's going on here? This thing is really annoying me. Yeah, so I'm done. I'm going to go home, do a little round up, and uh, yeah, post a couple of pictures and whatnot. I'm not even that tired today. It's been so cold that it's just kept me nice and cool all day. Feet are okay, legs are okay. I feel like another full day tomorrow. Ta ta. This is going to be the quickest round up here uh, because this video has gone on way too long. So, this was the uh, leather pouch. Uh, I did take the half crown out, I've given that a clean, uh, that'll probably need to a bit more work on it, I will get that looking uh, mint, that's the shilling again, uh, it should clean up but I've hit it with a spade which has probably aggravated me a lot, sixpence, that needs to go in the lemon again, sixpence, that little threepence, look how small that is, so worn. Uh, that's 30 old pennies, 12 old pennies, 6 pennies, 6 pennies, 3 pennies. And then, just look at all that, I can't even be bothered to go through all that. It's just pennies, half pennies, buttons, 3 pences, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, what a day. It's about 9 o'clock, I've started, not even had my tea yet, so feeding time again. Right, I'll see you on the next one.